Hey everyone, and welcome to episode three of Robbie's Backstage Bands. Today, I'll be talking to Jacob McIntosh, who you will know from Kinky Boots and Beautiful the Carol King Musical. So welcome, Jacob. Hello. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Good. I'm, not, I'm, I'm good, yeah. Uh, how's everything been treating you with all this? You know what? It's been okay. Um, I feel like a lot of people are just kind of getting by at the moment. Um, yeah, just, but it's, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Just rolling through, doing the best yeah. we can. <laughs> There's not a lot we can do at the moment, really. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so my first question for you today is one that I ask everyone. And that is, what is the journey of how you got to where you are today? What's the story? Um, so I've always loved performing. Um, my uncle's producer, so I kind of like uh, flat TV. So I kind of got into it like really that cool. way. And um, I remember going to watch Hairspray in town in 2007. And we had a friend oh. in it. And I remember just sitting there being like, oh, I love this show. I want to be in this. I want to do this kind of thing. Yeah. And um, yeah, I auditioned for uh, DMB, a college in Bromley. Went there for three years and then just auditioned for shows and then here we are. <laughs> this is how we got here. Literally. So did you ever have any other career paths in mind or was it always straight down the acting path? Um, I always have enjoyed like, ca like counselling and like oh. listening to people and talking to people and um, just yeah just over like talking to people and just finding out like how they are and like trying to work on like maybe problems or worries. Um, but I think performing was kind of just the one thing that I was like, yeah. I really enjoy this. I really want to do this as a career. And mm -hmm. well, up until COVID, um, it was going well. <laughs> yeah, that sort of stomped on that one for you. So what yeah. age did you start then? How old were you when you started? Well, I did like um, pantos in like my local area when I was about 12, 13. Oh, wow. um and then yeah just like just the panto every year and then i think yeah i kind of went to college and then second year i did uh, a panto in bromley which is like my first professional like panto hey. which was so great and then yeah just that way well well you've got to start somewhere and panto yeah. is definitely definitely one of the best routes to go down sadly we won't yeah, have definitely. that this year which is really upsetting but you know we'll we'll get panto back at some point yeah um so now we we know how it all started we're going to mm. jump into a little chat about your career okay so talk us through your training where did you train what was it like how was it so i went to a dmb which is now academy of performing arts mm. in bromley uh, which is a three-year musical theater course and um yeah through that i got auditions for in third year we kind of got auditions for what the, audition for lion king audition for some what? other stuff and yeah for me it was um it's quite a small college so in my year i think we had about we started with maybe 18 so it's like a, a really like a small college but it you get the training that you you want yourself yeah. um and yeah it was great for that like, one-to-one -one singing lessons and um we had the grad show um in my third year and from that i got an agent and then yeah it kind of just worked out you, you go to auditions you sometimes don't get the job sometimes you do um but training yeah training was really 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 good to to give me that the foundation of how oh. things work and how the industry yeah. works sounds good that it was like nice and close there was like a small bunch yeah. of you that it just sort of worked and then you've done panto as you as you yes. previously mentioned yeah. what sort of pantos have you been in who have you played um, you so yeah i did uh peter pan in bromley Whoa. Um, then the year after that, I did Sleeping Beauty in Bromley as well. Oh. And then I did Peter Pan again uh, with a different company in Seven Oaks. And then I did Aladdin in Dunstable near, uh, near Milton Keynes in 2016. Yeah. yeah. I just wish we could have Panto this show. We need I to know, get. It's so weird. It is. It's not right. This is not how we envisioned this show to go at all. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what can, what can we do? Yeah. Exactly. And then. Obviously, we get on to Kinky Boots. So, but yeah, before that, I did Beautiful oh. the first time. Oh, you did Beautiful the first time, of course. Yeah. Go so with I that did one. did Beautiful twice. Um, yeah, the first time Beautiful uh, was my first UK tour. Yeah. Uh, 2017, yeah, 2017, 2018. Um, which, yeah, it was crazy. I'd never obviously been a, like on a tour before. Yeah, and, and you haven't stopped I, since. I know, <laughs> I literally feel like I just love this job. I love, I love it. 
Yeah, you just kept um, on going. Yeah, yeah, so that was good. So were you a Carol King fan before you went into Beautiful or was it just sort of... So it was the kind of thing that I knew loads of songs from, from the show, but I didn't know that she'd like written them. Exactly or like, the it was so strange that like, you'd hear a song, you'd be like, oh, I love this song. And they'd be like, oh yeah, Carol and Jerry did that. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, and then you hear about Natural Woman, Locomotion, We Still Love Me Tomorrow. And you're like, oh my God, I love these songs, but I, <laughs> I didn't yeah. even know. Um, <laughs> didn't know that. But yeah, being in the show, obviously, um, like you hear all the audience like, oh, I love this song. I didn't know she'd done this. I didn't know she did this. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was a fan. Yeah. Yeah. Just didn't know it necessarily. I didn't know it. Exactly. Yeah, it's like <laughs> me when I first listened to it. I was like, oh, this, this song's here. Hello. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> we had Kinky Boots. Um, yes. Yeah. Just incredible show as well. Oh, it's such a great show to be part of and literally my dream show really loved it and you got to go on as Lola I did yeah so I mean that was crazy in itself like being a swing and a cover like you never know if you're going to get on for anything or yeah I feel like on a tour you kind of don't expect to get on that much um but yeah, in Birmingham, I got a show in Birmingham and it was, I mean, it was scary. I'm not going to oh, lie. Yeah. Really scary, but it was, um, it was great. It was really fun. Really, really fun. I bet Lola's well, one of them roles where it's scary, even if you do it full time. So just going on yeah. that, that, that extra. Ooh. Yeah, I think a lot of it is like the backstage. So what you see, obviously, from the audience is when Lola's on stage, she's all dressed up and all the makeup yeah. and stuff. But as soon as she goes off, she's got quick changes, she's got makeup changes, she's got wig changes, and it's all like, it's all kind of, and then you get thrown back on and you're like, oh, it's crazy. Wow. And that must have been incredible. Did your family get to come and see that as well? So um, my agent came to watch and a oh. friend that I did Beautiful with, and then luckily all the swings were also off from King Boots, so um, they got to watch the show. So that was, yeah, it was really nice to have people in the audience That's that I knew. Yeah. And the tour came around to Sunderland, which means I got to see you. Yeah. And yeah. we I met you and yeah. um, put my photo in there at some point. End of that. <laughs> um that was honestly the show is incredible. It's so I, great, isn't it? I love it. And then we've got beautiful round two. <laughs> round two. Sadly it was only ten weeks yeah, long. It cut off just before I managed to get to see you. I know. Oh, yeah, because Sunderland was literally the week after. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, um yeah, it's a shame. It was a. Uh, it was because it was kind of different, because obviously it's a different cast, so you've got like a different yeah. vibe, but I really, really enjoyed it, and I was gutted on it. You were in there with Toyin, which is, which is nice. Yeah, so strange that we literally went straight from King Fruits into Beautiful. You're getting but, sick of each yeah. other there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the way it works, like, we both auditioned at the same time, and it, yeah, oh, yeah. it worked. worked I'm well. so glad that you got to, like, so we, was anyone else in Beautiful that you'd worked with previously in Beautiful, or was it just... Um, so it was just my friend Grant who was in the first tour. Um, I think, yeah, it was literally just me and him who came back and did it a second time, which was nice to know somebody that had done it before as yeah. well. But that cast, though, I was so looking forward to seeing you all. Like, damn. Everyone was great. Like, really, really great. Honestly. It's who so knows? sad. Who knows? <laughs> I really hope they bring it back. Yeah, so do I. It's such a great show. And like I was saying earlier about the songs, like everyone knows at least yeah. three of the songs in the show, but you just don't realise it until you go to watch it and you're like, oh, okay. No, yeah, I saw that it was coming on. So I was like, mm, let, me, let, me, let me look this up, see what it's about. Mm. And then I heard the songs, I was like, right, we're taking Nana, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way it works. It's one of, the, one of, them, one of them shows. Mm -hmm. um, so now we've gotten through that. We've reached yeah. the fans' questions. Okay. Dun dun. That's the <laughs> first dun 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 you're gonna get today. Um, so Sean has asked, what was your favorite track in Kinky Boots? Favorite track? Okay. Um, I think because it's the one that I did the most was uh, the Bikini Angel. Um, <laughs> held up the sign in um in this corner. Yeah. I think um, I ended up going on for that track quite a few times. So it kind of gave me a chance to find my own interpretation of, of an angel and it just was a really good like quite a chilled track but it was um I mean it was the top tenor line which which um it's quite high to sing I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but it yeah I love that track I think that's definitely my favorite one how many tracks did you have when you're in kinky boots was that so I covered 
30, I think, yeah, 30, it's like straight tracks, 13 tracks, and then split tracks. I mean, I think, I think maybe like 16 altogether. Holy um, moly. But I, yeah, it, it was a lot. But out of the 13, I got on for 12 of them. So, oh. yeah. Um, does that count Lola as well, or is that? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so there's tw- uh, six angels, six factory guys, and then Lola. Oh. Yeah. You got on for quite a lot of them tracks. I know. I mean, it was a 16 month contract, so I kind of, I mean, I didn't think I'd get on for that many, but it worked out well. Yeah. Uh, this, this rolls us on to the next question quite nicely. Yeah. Amy has asked, how did you remember all of them tracks? Oh, um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'd be on stage like, oh, where am I supposed to go next? Um, so I had a swing map, um, like a swing Bible. Mm-hmm. And then on that, I had like swing maps and I had I'd written, I typed everything up so that I knew exactly where each person went. Um, I think it was harder for the factory workers because if you're on for them, they've got to move things. They've got, some of them have got yeah. lines. Some of them have got like, um, like in everybody say, yeah, with the, the uh, moving the traps, it's so difficult. Like, cause you've got the, the speed button, the on button, the off button. And if you're in the wrong place for something, it could all go wrong. Um, so yeah, a lot of it was um, typing it up and I had a, like a video of the show. So oh, right, if I knew yeah. it was on for someone um, with enough notice, I'd go back and watch the, the video and see exactly where they went, just so that I didn't make any mistakes. Yeah, I bet if there was a mistake though, people, people on stage can guide you like... So. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's the good thing is that <laughs> everyone yeah. knows the show and they're able to just kind of be like, you're on the wrong side, you're on the wrong side. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a subtle yeah. nudge but yeah I'm sure that's happened before <laughs> <laughs> it, it's scary like there's moments when you're like oh my god I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to go next well you but, get it in day-to-day life anywhere like you know you'll come up the stairs and you think why have I come up the stairs I mean, yeah. <laughs> imagine yeah. with that with thousands of people watching it's like yeah it's pressure <laughs> yeah um and then you mentioned lines in there and Trevor has asked if you forget a line on stage what do you do Oh, um, do you know what? I think I've only ever in King of Boots forgotten one line. And that was when I was on for the Union Jack Angel, which was the 12th track that I'd done. Oh. It was towards the end of the tour. And it's in, the, in this corner. And I just was so into the number. I was just like, it was like the fourth time that I'd done it. Um, so I was like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And then there's, there's one bit where... Um, the angel says something like, care for a grasshopper, darling, it will keep you bouncy. And I just was in my own world and the music was playing and I was just like, oh my God, it's me. And I just was, I couldn't remember the line. So all you heard was, uh, bouncy. And it just was like, everyone was like, what is happening? Um, so I, yeah, if you forget a line, you just kind of have to maybe make up what you're supposed to say or just yeah try and go with it and hope that someone else comes in and yeah. helps you <laughs> yeah so were there any other on-stage mishaps then with beautiful or kinky boots that you want to share um kinky boots i had quite a few um when i was on for my lola show in hold me in your heart um i stood on my dress so there's like you walk you've got three walks forward and another three walks forward and both times on the third step, I got my heel caught in my dress. And I kind of did like a side step to kind of like kick the, the dress from under the heel. <laughs> and then I kind of did it again. And it just, like my friends that were watching were like, why did you add in a side step when you're walking forward? And I was like, wow. Well. So they know this. Um, what else? I was on for Union Jack Angel again. Um, the first time that I was on for it. And I misjudged one of the marks with the unit I pulled the unit too far forward put the brake on and then the whole way through the scene I was like this is so far forward and the six angels and Lola had to cross the stage in Land of Lola Reprise and honestly we were literally like this and at (laughs) one point the stage manager had to come on and (laughs) undo the brake and move the unit back during the scene who did that yeah I was like that wasn't me (laughs) It definitely was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was there any beautiful then, or was there not many? You didn't get very long to have them. No. So I only. Oh no, there was one. Yeah, oh. I did five shows um, in Eastbourne. 
I was on one of the tracks and this technically wasn't actually my my mishap it was kind of um Vicky Mansus so okay. she had a quick change she ran off a poor natural woman and her shoes were set like the, her right was set as her left and left was set as her right and she put her feet in bearing around we're doing a scene on stage and we turned to look because she's supposed to come on and she wasn't there so me it was me and Jordan Fox and we kind of just looked at each other like I don't know what Where to do it? so I, I started reading um the natural woman lyrics for, which felt for like a minute it was like 15 seconds but I started reading the lyrics and being trying to like ad lib and it was just so awkward and then she came on and we were like oh, thank god where have you been? <laughs> yeah literally where, where have you been um but yeah not that many and beautiful that was oh, the kind yeah. of we didn't get too long yeah I know. um all right where am i yeah sophie has asked um what was the hardest thing about touring with beautiful the hardest thing um i think the second time i did it um as dance captain it was kind of difficult because every stage is different and sometimes you wouldn't have the full width of the stage and sometimes the set wouldn't actually fit in the theatre so you'd have to cut some of the things and come up with other like solutions as to how it's going to work um so i think yeah just like trying to respace things during sound check knowing that you've got a show that evening and like, fingers crossed everything goes well um I yeah i think i think yeah, I think that was the hardest. Just just um, trying to respace things in when you haven't got the full width of a, of a stage. Ah, <laughs> stress. Yeah. Uh, and Leona has asked for the final fans question. Yes. What is your dream role? Oh, I mean, I would have said Lola, but I've, <laughs> I, Lola did, now. I did that. Yeah. Um, oh, do you know what? I've got more like dream shows that I want to be in as opposed to dream roles. Um, I really, really want to be in Once on This Island. Mm-hmm. I love that show. Or Memphis. I love, love, love that show. Um, yeah, or or Dream Girls. Dream Girls has always been a show that I've, I went to see in town and just was, yeah. I mean, I wanted to be CC, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit old <laughs> for the CC. But yeah, never know. Yeah, no. um, yeah, I have more like dream shows than dream roles, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> I bet Kinky Boots was a dream show before that. It really was. I I went to see. I mean, I was a really big fan before I saw that. Like, before I did the show, I think I saw it about seventeen times, <laughs> and just was like, I know. I'd like every friend. I'd be like, should we go and see a show tonight? And they'd be like, okay. And I was like, should we go and see Kinky Boots? And they'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Literally knowing all the words, all the routines. I haven't seen it yet. This bit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, yeah, Kinky Boots was definitely a dream show. Definitely. I love Kinky Boots. Um, so now you've got through the fans' questions and you're at the scariest part. Are you ready? This is your quiz on how well you know Beautiful. Gosh. Okay. Yeah. Really sorry <laughs> about these. Just putting that up. <laughs> right. This first question. Yes. How many songs are in the cast recording, including the overture? Okay, let me just quickly go through them. You do that. Overture, so far away. 1650, Rain Till September. Uh, Some kind of wonderful. Um, Happy Days are here again. Take care, my baby. We still love me tomorrow. Oh my gosh. The Cynthia and Barry song, We Still Love Me Tomorrow Again. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There is, there's a lot. Um, I'm going to guess 21. 25. Is it? 25? Oh my gosh, there's so many songs. Wow, okay. Yeah, there's a lot. I, yeah, that's a lot, I'm not going to lie. To be honest, you were very close. I, okay, yeah, I wasn't too far away. You didn't have that because you, you were far away, that's not, not far. Now, I'm, I made the next one quite easy for you. Okay. Um, finish the lyric, you give your love. So sweetly. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I hope I get that right. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there you go. I just thought I'd best be nice. Yeah, thank you. Then question three. Who was the original Broadway Carol King? Jesse Muller. Yes, indeed. Yes. 
And yeah. her sister Abby went on to do it on one of the uh, tours. It's so crazy, isn't it? It's so, so family, crazy. Honestly. I know, they're so talented. <laughs> this next one, you might need a little bit of time to think about okay. this. But I think you can get it. Right. Okay. So, both Beautiful and Another Show have a song with the same name. Which show is that and what is the song? Heathers? Beautiful. Yes! Isn't it? Yeah, they're both beautiful in it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow! Woo. I'm doing really well. You're doing yeah. this. Um, and this, 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 this last question here. I mm. think you'll get this. It's, okay. It's, it's quite an easy one. What was the first venue on your most recent beautiful tour? We opened in Brom- Bromley. Yeah. Yes. I should know that because that's literally where I lived and where I went to college, so I should really know that. Oh, okay, that wasn't too hard. That wasn't, that wasn't so bad. How did you feel about that quiz? Yeah, it was really good questions, actually. Um, yeah, I'm quite proud. Yeah, really good. I always ask the um, cast recording question, and people get quite close, to be honest. Yeah, 25 songs. 25. I, I did not know that, actually. So now the question is, what is your favourite song? A favourite song to listen to or to sing? I'm beautiful, any of them. Whatever. Um, I love We Still Love Me Tomorrow. I think, I mean, both versions, like the Carol King and then the Shirelles version. Um, yeah, they're both great. But then to sing, I'd say on Broadway, just because it's such a upbeat, like, yeah, it's great. I love it. <laughs> Every song. You can't, yeah, that, you can't get very great. far without recognising one, can you? you... Yeah. It's, it's one so of those songs, the whole show is just... It's amazing. It's one of them. You can listen to it all day without... Exactly. Honestly. <laughs> well, you've made it to the end. Yee. We've done it. So, I've got a few things I want to do. Firstly, I want to remind you all that we are here to raise a little bit of money for Acting for Others. I've got my yeah. one t-shirt on. Um, so if you want to go, there's a link in the description of this video. If you can donate anything you have, obviously don't put yourself in a position where you don't have any money, but (laughs) any little bits of money, you can donate anything. They would really love that because they help everyone in the industry all year round, not just in times like this, but it is needed a lot in a time like this. Um, of really struggling um and also a reminder to check the social medias which will all be down there you'll find them uh for announcements on who's coming up next and all that's left to do is thank you for coming in jacob it has thank been an you. absolute pleasure speaking to you it's so fun and i'm glad that we got an insight on kinky boots and beautiful um because yeah two incredible shows yes. and how Vicky Mansa got you to read out the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> you just oh, need to um, always, always keep on at her about that now. Oh, well, like you, yeah, remind her, remind her about it. Cause it was, it was an awkward time for me. <laughs> yeah. Look, you look bad. Look. <laughs> Assume that Vicky Mansa is going to watch this, of course. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for coming in. I've really enjoyed this one. It's been great. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will see you later, everyone. Bye. (laughs)